First and foremost, you are much taller than the last episode. <laughs> But first, uh, most importantly, congratulations on your nomination this evening. What are you most looking forward to about tonight's awards? Um, honestly, I'm just looking forward to you know seeing some people, um, you know maybe some people in my in my category. Um, but you know, I think it's just really cool that I'm you know being nominated for this award. Uh, and, you know, it's just such an honor being here. Absolutely. Uh, being with a show for so long, your character develops, you change and grow with the character. How, what was your experience in kind of growing with this character over time? Um, you know, it was great because the character, you know, he was really conflicted at first. Um, and, I mean, he was always conflicted. He never knew really what side to, what side to pick. Um, and he, you know, he kind of, he always loved his dad, but he always loved his mom too. And he didn't quite realize that, uh, his mom was actually a monster, uh, and that she really was just trying to get to him, uh, and trying to, you know, get to his dad to stop his plan to end them. Um, but then, you know, after making some pretty bad decisions after his dad killed his mom, he, uh, you know, he kind of realized after being with the master that, you know, maybe he's, he's gone with the wrong side, um, so then, in the end, he ends up, you know, turning on the master to save his dad and to, you know, save the world. Can you give us any sneak peeks of what we might be in store for coming up? Um, well, the show's actually done now. Um, but for me, uh, you know, right now I'm doing The Lion Guard. I play Kion. Um, I play Sherman on the Mr. Peabody and Sherman show on Netflix. And, you know, you can still watch The Strain on Hulu. And you are such a versatile actor, given that you have done worked in so many different mediums, especially working as a voice actor. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the different skill sets that are required for being on screen versus just using your voice to act? Um, I mean, it's a lot different, uh, but I think it's you know it's really fun. I'd like to I'd like to continue doing everything, um, but honestly, I just love you know sometimes when I was up uh, you know filming the strain up in Toronto, uh, a couple times a week they would get me into the studio there to film or to you know record my voiceover shows. Um, so it's great just the you know how flexible they were with me doing everything and. Honestly, I'd just like to keep doing that in the future. Excellent. Well, Max, again, congratulations on your nomination. We are pulling for you tonight. Thanks. Thanks.